Hi, guys. Hi. 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 Sure. <laughs> we'll spin it around in a second. Hi. So <laughs> today we are making snick snacks. We are going to be making, what are we making at hand? We're making wine gums. Awesome. We didn't find citric acid anywhere, which makes me very disappointed. But we're gonna supplement with lemon juice. We're gonna have to cut by on, cut back on the wine quantity, put in some lemon juice, and that makes me very sad. But we don't really have a choice though. If we want it to be sour, we don't have to make it sour. We have to boil down the wine, and that makes me very sad because the alcohol is gonna be gone. It makes me sad a little bit also, but on the other hand, I understand that we need to boil it to a liquid, like a, a syrup. I mean, at this point, I might throw in a few buds of weed and turn it into edibles. I don't know. We are in Canada, this is allowed. It's not just allowed, it's legal. Plus the recipients would be happy about it, so. Some of them, yeah. I'd keep that separated from the other recipients. Yes. We're not trying to, that would be illegal. Yes. <laughs> okay. What am I doing? We need to measure out our ingredients first. The first thing is that we need to bloom the gelatin. I, I don't work with gelatin a lot, do you? I make marshmallows quite a bit, so yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Which I have yet to taste. <laughs> just ask him what his, I know, but just ask him what his favorite flavor, flavor is. That's all. That's all I need to know. And then I'll wait the rest. Strawberry? Yeah. Okay. I hope I did the right thing. Wait, did you put your, your lemon juice in there before you put the wine? It doesn't smell so good? No, it does, it, no. It does not smell good. But then Are you again, mixing like, it I though? I never mix my gelatin. Well, there wasn't enough liquid in there. It says... Mix together the gelatin and one quarter cup of wine. Set aside okay. to bloom until grainy and firm. Okay. I'm just following the recipe. I know. I just, I, that's not how I use my gelatin. That's, that's well, all I wanted to say. Well, you should have said something before. I didn't see you do the mix, so. It says to mix it. <laughs> well, let's see if it works. And if it doesn't, then we'll know well, that. Well, now I feel really dumb. Don't. You're following the recipe. I don't like it. It's it'll grow on you. I think halfway through my first glass, I was like, actually, this is not bad. It tastes like salad. That might be why I didn't like it at first, because I wasn't <laughs> eating salad. <laughs> I mean, again, it grew on me, and I didn't have a problem with it afterwards. So, what you guys don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show this real quick. This is sparkling red wine. We got coerced into we buying it. we got coerced by a guy at the LCBO who wanted yeah. Adrian's number. Yeah. It was $10, so I figured why not. How long is this blooming for? Three to five minutes. In the meantime, we drink? Yeah. Okay. This needs to sit for three to five minutes, but then the wine needs to simmer for 10 minutes. So this is going to be out like longer, which makes no sense. When you write a recipe, you need to factor that shit in. Unfortunately, a lot of the recipe creators on the internet don't do that. And that's where you know that they don't know how to cook. It needs to be documented for people who don't do this on a regular basis. Moral of the story, read your recipes twice before you actually start anything. Yeah, I don't do that. Because I don't rely on recipes. I rely on ingredients and measurements. Yeah, well, I read four different recipes and then I wing it. Okay. Which is slightly different. It's supposed to be one third of a cup of wine minus one tablespoon of lemon juice that I just put in there. So I should just sip it. Yeah, you can do that. Sorry, Austin. I would have put the lemon juice inside the cup and then fill it up with the rest of it with wine because that's, <laughs> that's... I already had a lot to drink, okay? Don't... So I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to reduce the heat to a simmer and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. I need to put corn syrup in there too. Because it has sugar in there, I probably shouldn't be stirring it. There's something about stirring sugar. Is there? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't make candy. Like ever. I do though. You need to stir the sugar. Otherwise well, you burn it. it. Yeah, but you burn works. it. Yeah, you'll burn it otherwise. It depends it depends what kind of candy you're making. And this has the a heat, lot of I guess. It depends on the heat. It depends on, on what kind of candy you're making. This is um, more like your area. What do you think? Candy expert? You called me bread expert the other day. <laughs> My focus is mostly marshmallows and fudge. I make a lot of fudge. There's already like shit in there whatever i have I mean, no idea what i'm doing that's the whole point i know that's the whole point that's what i'm doing somehow it always ends up working anyway 
I'm like, well, why would I stop? If it ain't broken, don't fix it. If you'll excuse me while I do the dishes, madame. Of course. I mean, you can keep filming me doing the dishes. I can do a little bit of like this, a little fan service. Just kidding. No one watches. We're gonna start counting down 10 minutes from now. This is technically ready. It says remove the heat, uh, the, the saucepan from the heat and whisk in the gelatin mixture. Strain the mixture through a fine mesh sieve set over a medium bowl. I might have to make sure it's properly washed. I strained meat in there the other day. You're a meat strainer? Yeah, I, I strain my ground meat and then I wash it. I don't just strain it, I wash you it. You wash your ground, like cooked? Yeah, yeah, I rinse it. Wow, you're worse than my mom. I'm, I'm just taking the fat out because like if I'm making tacos, you're taking the fat out of turkey Because I know you bought turkey <laughs> Yes, I did strain and wash my turkey <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing you though. Uh, it's yeah, not it's a bad just out thing. of habit. I've been doing that for years I mean ground beef. I understand because yeah. ground yeah. beef is, is yeah. pretty in the pan It looked like a lot more fat than it actually was Okay. And then I was already there, so... And when you're making tacos... For everybody, the camera roll stopped. And I just shushed Ari. And she's not taking it well. The other day, you were like... <laughs> I did tell you you talked too much the other day. And I didn't mean it like that. It just came out wrong. Sometimes my brain goes too fast and my mouth doesn't stop it. It's just, you know, but you understand me. Absolutely. And you knew exactly what I meant. Absolutely. And nor do I take offense to you <laughs> shushing me just now. Listen, it's the first time I'm fucking filming, so let's not. I do not blame you for the way you just said that. <laughs> you know I didn't mean it badly, right? It was, it was in true fashion, not diplomatic at all. <laughs> meant with all the love in the world, but bitch... Get out of my face. <laughs> Why does it say to whisk it in? I can't whisk this. It's a huge blob. You're also using not a whisk. Fucking hate recipes. How long are you supposed to whisk it for? Until it's dissolved and then I strain it and then we pipe it. Whatever I'm smelling right now is pretty fucking nasty. I'm not gonna lie. It still does not smell good. Honestly, like it might not work and I might just end up eating them myself. If they don't taste good, I'm not sending that anywhere. They're gonna be cute at least. It might not taste good, but citric acid would have probably helped that. The smell? No, the not taste. the smell, the taste. Probably, yeah. We have the exact amount of molds for the liquids that we have. I don't know if I'm supposed to do this or not, like go back in and I don't know if it's gonna fuck it up or not. I don't think so, I doubt it. Are you filming me right now? Yeah, I am, God yes. <laughs> Refrigerate until set one to two hours. All right. All right, buddy. Friend. Sister. Person. Yes, I am a human being. <laughs> what are we doing? We're gonna unmold this. I just put warm water in the sheet pan to help with unsticking. I don't even know if that's gonna work. I'm just trying stuff at this point. My thingies don't get submerged. <laughs> Is it too deep? No. no. I'm gonna hold them. At least they're getting held. <laughs> Sorry, was my thirst showing? A little bit. I'm just gonna fuck up this one just because I'm impatient. We should have greased this before. Like a little bit of Pam. These are hella sticky. I wanna eat this one though. Can I eat one too? Do you wanna eat one or do you wanna split this one? Well, my fingers have been all over this one, so it's up to you if you don't wanna share. I don't care. <laughs> okay then. Then unstick one for me. Is it that bad? You know that taste I did not like about the wine? Yeah. I still don't like it. If you're gonna eat it, just rip it out. I don't- I want it to look pretty. <clears throat> I like to eat pretty things. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Maybe we can do a little bit of research on, on how to make a better- A better version? Because I don't want to send that out. Like yeah. Texture Oh, it's very jelloey. It's not. It's not stiff enough for me. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that for <laughs> once. I know what you mean. What are we doing with the rest of this? I mean, I would eat them anyway. <laughs> I don't think they're that bad. What were we saying? 
things to better this process because you don't want to add more sugar because it's sweet enough you want to use a better wine because this does not taste super good it's not great i mean it's not the worst wine in the world i've no. had worse wines mm -hmm. but it's not the best wine suited for good. this particular. No. We tend to sit on the floor. The kitchen floors are therapy for us, so this is where we're at right now, thinking about what our next move is. So we want to make it more candy base. We need that citric acid. Yeah, we need that we citric can't skip acid. It. What can we do to like improve the texture? Other than other than drying it out. Wine gums are still gummies. Not in the traditional sense. I feel like you have two types of gummies gummy bears and gummy worms that have that like kind of like that's bounce yeah it's good and then bounce. you have like swedish berries so i wonder what the difference in process is between those i want it to be more squishy i don't want, i feel like that's plenty squishy that that's too squishy for me right now what it's doing is that like it breaks it's a clean break i want it i want pull on it it's sticky but it, I feel like it's so bouncy that I could use it as a bouncing ball. I feel like if I threw it at you, it would bounce right back at me. I think we just need to switch completely the direction we're going. Let's find another recipe. I don't like this one. I think... I will do some research on my end. I'll read a few of them and then I'll probably come up with something. As is my usual tradition. <laughs> this is another thing. Bloggers, I hate reading the shit you put in front. <laughs> All I'm I just... want is the fucking ingredients <laughs> and the fucking, the instructions. That's all I yeah. want. I want that skip to the recipe button on every single recipe yeah. blog in the 100%. world. I don't think we failed. I just think that I the think recipe we was succeeded. bad. Yeah, I think we succeeded perfectly at what we did. I just think the recipe was wrong. That's why I liked reading more than one because then I can change the direction. It needs to be powdered in something. It would need to be powdered in sugar and not powdered sugar, like legit sugar citricy acidy sugar. well we don't have that but yes we no but just, like sugar like, and uh, sugar and citric acid acid mixed together yeah which we don't have right now no. um but straight up acid or straight up sugar acid left right. <laughs> just straight up acid that's all we need okay. uh no but like just sugar okay you could flavor your sugar with something though Ooh, mold wine okay all right let me try this out <laughs> let me try this out i don't know anymore I don't. It's quarantine. Time doesn't matter anymore. It really doesn't. It's, it's an sad. abstract concept. What is life exactly? So are we going to make this again? Yeah. Differently. Okay. Different wine. Yeah. Different method. Yeah. How are we setting off? I, I look <laughs> like I'm so unimpressed right now. We're not signing <laughs> off because this is part one. <laughs> part one. It's going to be published, you know, next year or something. <laughs> <laughs> Before the end of the summer, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we will. Till then. Peace.